Back to uh, Tony Quinn. We're still getting an enormous amount. And uh, we've covered Tony Quinn before, but I think this time a lot more people seem to be willing to uh, speak out on their concerns. Lisa McCahey, good afternoon. Hi, Joe. How are you? How are you, Lisa? You're well, you're, you're a, a, you were a young journalism student when you decided to do a documentary or try and do a documentary on Tony Quinn. What, what prompted you? Um, basically, it was a friend of the family had got involved and her parents were getting quite worried about her. Mm-hmm. They thought she was losing money and that maybe her relationship was going to suffer in her business. So that's what kind of started it all off. And what did you find out in your documentary? Um, basically, my friend Amy that I made it with, she posed as the interviewee. Okay, she posed as someone who wanted Sorry. to... Sorry, she to posed get... as, um, yeah, someone who was interested in it. So I just have to run into an office here. Okay. Um, and she, yeah, we were kind of, we... Um, we had her mic'd up and they just basically told her they wouldn't have the price at the beginning and they... You see, just, 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 to, just to go back to the start, what, what's interesting as well, Lisa, that's a marriage during the week, though, though I presume that was, this was known, that, that, okay, Tony Quinn advertises those tablets and all that stuff he sells and he advertises yoga and he advertises these, this thing that's on on Sunday in the RDS. But he doesn't advertise these seminars for €13,000 no, or €63,000. So how does he get people, how do people find out about them and how do they get the money to go on them? Well, what we found out was that these aren't advertised anywhere. It's, it's just people to people. So somebody goes and they pay the, it was 18500 when we were doing it. They come home and they try to sell it on to other people. This is what we discovered or what we thought was mm-hmm. going on anyway. So basically, you know, you know, these people kind of, they pay the money. They think that this is amazing, that they've gotten all these benefits, that they're told their income is going to go up by 88% every year, that they're going to make the money back in no time. And then they go home and they try to encourage other people to go on the seminars. So, you, you know, you're not going to see ads for this anywhere. Okay, so how did your Amy become, an, how did she get to the stage where she was asked to go on one of these seminars and up her income by 88% or whatever? How did, she, how did she network into the Tony Quinn organisation? Okay, what she did was we, we um, targeted one person in particular that we thought was quite, quite high profile who was, who was running one of his health shops. Okay. So she went in there and she just, you know, had a chat with him and she said, look, I've heard about these seminars, I'm, I'm interested in it, can you tell me more about them? Mm-hmm. And he said, well, I don't really want to talk here, um, but I'd be more than happy to tell you about it, I'd love to tell you all about it, it'd be fantastic, can we meet in the grass room tomorrow night? Okay. So she said, yeah, that's fine, so we went along to the grass room, so I had earphones, I was listening to everything, and he talked to her for two and a half to three hours, and they showed her a video, they showed her a promotional documentary that they'd made that, that she said was very, very well made, and just kept saying the same things over and over again. He, they wouldn't hire the price, it kept saying, you know, it's only the price of a car, um, you know, you're going to make this back so quick, it's going to open up your mind, you're going to think that you were depressed before you even went over, because you're going to be so happy when you come back. Mm-hmm. You know, they just kept sucking her and sucking her, and she said she felt by the end of it, she actually was getting sucked into this, and eventually he told her the price, he said, okay, it's 95 euro a week for five years to open up your mind. And she, and like he knew she was a college student. She, he, she told him mm-hmm. that. And she kind of said, okay, uh, well, I don't really know where I'm going to get the money. And he said, well, I'll help you with that. You know, I'll help you. Don't worry about that at the moment. You just decide if it's something you want to do. He said, I decided it's something I want to do. I didn't even worry about the money. That, that I just knew that I was going to get it from somewhere, and I did. And then he told her that he was driving a brand new BMW X5 and that that depreciates, whereas you put your money into this, you're going to have it forever. It's going to be worth every cent. So he said this two-week course will, works out. Well, you can divide it between anything you get a he, figure. Well, he did everything he could do to avoid saying 18,500 euro. She had to drag it out of him. Okay, and, now, then, now, and then the flights aren't, aren't, aren't included in that either. And this, the, you sent us in some documentation and uh, one of the, or the two of the pages say, how would you like to go on the seminar for free, the Tony Quinn seminar, and make mm-hmm. money before you go? Mm-hmm. From step one, step two. Are you familiar with that document? I have it here, okay. yeah. Okay. Now, he actually, I don't know whether, I presume EBS have nothing to do with this. He says the cost of seminar is 15 grand. Okay. But mm-hmm. step two, switch your mortgage to the EBS and save money. I, th- I think it's just as if, That's you know, bizarre. they're going to let in all these money-saving sa- and, secrets. And then they're saying, and the money you save by switching your mortgage to the EBS, the money you save over a 20-year mortgage is will pay for the cost of this two-week seminar in the Bahamas. 
I know, it's amazing. Have, has the EBS got any, any I presume they've nothing no, to do with nothing. this. No, nothing, no, nothing, nothing. I don't believe they've anything to do with it for a second. And I it says your just... total savings over 20 years, if you move to the EBS, is 12 grand. Mm. Uh, and the... And you haven't, and then it says, and you haven't even been to the seminar in the Bahamas yet. They actually showed Amy a graph, and I have the graph as well. I've seen it, where they have, they say everyone was studied who went on the seminar over three years, and everyone, the average that their salaries went up, their net income went up, was eighty eight percent. So he said to her, "Okay, you're paying eighteen thousand five hundred, but look at your income now. That's going to go up eighty eight percent next year, and eighty eight percent the next year, and the next year. So you're going to have this paid off in no time." So he was making it sound completely logical. You know, so I think if anyone was in any way weak or looking for something, you know, I think okay. certain people just wouldn't be taken in, but other people... You did a bit of research into Tony Quinn. Where, where was he born? Where's he from? He was born in Arbor Hill in Dublin. And the house is still there, the cottage is the still, still there. still there, yeah. He was a, an only child, mm-hmm. and then he became a butcher. Mm-hmm. And got very into bodybuilding, very obsessed with image, and, um, you know, he, he advocates these fasting diets and kind of crazy diets, which, you know, I know are not nutritionally sound in the least. So it's and how did he get? How did he go from? I'm not saying anyone can, but how can? How how did he go from Arbor Hill to butchery to uh, bodybuilding to yoga to these incredibly expensive seminars? They say that um, he's the man that brought yoga to Ireland, basically. And he once he started doing that, and then he did um, he did a master's in the American Pacific University in Hawaii, which is on many lists of unaccredited institutions. And you do a lot of it by distance learning. Mm-hmm. So he got a master's in this. Um, and then he did a doctorate in the University of East London, I think it was. And he claims to have discovered this thing called unconscious attention when he was there. He did a thesis and it was called An Investigation into the Hypnotic Effects of Hypnotic Communication on the Individual's Subjective Experience of Pain. And he's done this on the Late Late Show where he's perform surgery without anaesthetic just by hypnosis and he claims this is called unconscious attention so he's training you to feel no pain mm-hmm. but hypnosis has been used for years in countries where they can't afford anaesthetic and it was used before anaesthetic was even invented so this is nothing new and is he a doctor now he's got a doctorate he um he says that he's like um a doctor of science but you know he says he's a doctor of clinical hypnotherapy well, did he study at the East and qualify at the East London University? He studied there. They have no record of him completing his studies, but they have said that they don't keep all records on file. Okay. So you, your your person, Amy, met through one of these um, these tablet shops. They're everywhere. They're mm-hmm. like Jervis. They're in various shops. They're, they're kiosks, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They seem to be everywhere. And uh, she met... And, and what was it... Did, did you actually... Did, did you actually go to any of Tony Quinn's meetings? No, we, obviously because we, you know, we couldn't get in there really. They, they wanted her to come and he kept ringing her afterwards and saying, are you interested, do you want to come? And she rang him and said, oh, you know, I'm interested, I'm going to go to the bank and ask for a loan. And he said, well, what are you going to tell them? And she said, I'm going to tell them about the seminar. And he said, no, don't tell them about the seminar. I wouldn't advise telling them about the seminar. And she said, why? He said, because they're going to think you're mad. You know, you have to think of something better than not to say, basically. He said, I'll help you, we'll come up with something. And is it pyramid selling? Yeah, I believe that it is pyramid selling because we have documents. They say that they don't advocate pyramid selling, they don't allow it. But we, ha- we got documents during the course of investigating, investigating it, which, you know, people can sign up to be an agent. Mm-hmm. So you pay your 18500 for your seminar, and then for everyone else you convince to go, you get 1000 from that, or was £1,000, probably a bit more now. Then if they sell it on to someone else, they get €2,000, the original person. But if you sign up to be an agent, you have to participate in one seminar a year. So you have to get 18 people to spend 20,000 euro before you even cover your own costs. 